Hello, and thank you for watching another episode of Red Beard Shaves. Today, we're just going to kind of continue on with what I was doing yesterday. We're just going to do a little shave and chat. Kind of go over some of the stuff that I'm using. Today, I am using House of Mammoth Hayuka, if I'm saying that right. It's a special Swedish word, and I get a little, little tongue-tied with Swedish words, but... This is absolutely one of my absolute favorite barber shops. I whipped it up with a new to me, new to my den artisan. This is the Teton Shaves brush. This is one of three that I picked up at the Wet Shaver Meetup. Matt with Teton Shaves does a really nice job. This is loaded up with a synthetic knot. I'm not much of a synthetic knot guy, but maybe in the future I'll replace these with some badger knots. But for right now, I'm just going to leave the synthetic knot in that he preloads into them. And I'm going to be shaving it down with my Carve Christopher Bradley. I'm working on polishing all of these stainless steel plates and the head cap right now, but this is actually plate F. Uh, so he runs a double A through G. I have plates B through G. And right now I'm just trying to kind of figure out which one's my favorite because Chris at Carve Shaving offers a copper Christopher Bradley and I am just a sucker for copper razors. So. I'm kind of narrowing it down to my favorite plate to two plates and I want to order one of those because I just love the way copper patinas. I'm going to go ahead and wet the head here. I am kind of leaning towards, I think the plates, I'm going to be somewhere between E and F. It, uh, I kind of want to have a, a daily driver plate which I'm in between the E and the F right now and then I'll probably end up going one plate for if I have more significant growth a little bit more aggression so if I decide on plate E for a daily driver then I'll probably get an E and an F if I decide on the F for a daily driver then I'll probably get an F and a G but when I was at the Wet Shaver Meetup in Idaho Falls. I was talking with Chris quite a bit because he he doesn't actually polish any of his razors anymore. He just bead blasts them. He prefers kind of the matte finish, which I also enjoy, but there's something about this stainless steel Christopher Bradley that I just think looks absolutely awesome polished. So I got some pretty cool pro tips from him. I'm going to order some supplies and have those in so I can finish getting them all polished up. And then I also have a few like my off the top of my head my haircut and shave razor that I have can use a brush up polishing. So that's kind of one of the things that I'm working on this winter. I just a kind of hobby level work on polishing some of my razors and see how I like it. So far I really enjoy it. It is just definitely tedious work uh, to get really really good polishes on razors. It just takes a lot of time so something to be patient with. I'll work on them here a little bit here and there and then as soon as I start getting kind of over it then I will just put it down and pick it up at another time because you if you don't have the focus for it it's something that you can easily set yourself back and have to redo work but oh and then loaded up within the curve, Christopher Bradley, I have a new Perma Sharp blade. And really, really good pairing. It's kind of interesting as I've 
been trying out the Christopher Bradley's plates. Like a lot of times people start with a plate C, um, which is what I had originally started with. And what I have found is actually as I go more aggressive on the plates, my shave experience gets a lot smoother. I kind of found the plate C to be a little rough for my liking. It was a little bit harsh. And as I've walked myself up from D to E to F to G, like the E and the F, they are just super smooth, very efficient. And that's kind of where I actually find it a much more enjoyable shave than the milder plates like the C and the D. The B was just a little bit too mild for me. The C and the D were, I mean, super efficient. I just find the E and the F to be a much more enjoyable shave for my skin type. And you get like really good audio feedback. So, hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for your comments yesterday. Definitely going to be putting some of that into practice. And uh, kind of see where we go. The House of Mammoth Hayuga. Uh, scent notes for that. Really pleasant. So you've got sweet orange, bergamot, fir, juniper, oak moss, amber, frankincense, musk, and castorium. If I'm saying that right. What I like about this is that the, uh, the kind of green woodsy, the juniper, the oak moss, the fir, really shines in this barber shop. And I think that's kind of why I enjoy it so much. Because it's not much of a classic barbershop fan. But I like Ben's take with a barbershop in Hayuga. Uh, really, really nice. It's actually one of the ones that I would consider picking up an EDP. Because... I use the scent very frequently, usually shave with this every couple of weeks, if not every week, because I enjoy the scent so much. Performance is fantastic on House of Mammoth. Has a lot of good vegan bases, plus tallow bases in there. It's got duck fat and beef tallow, and then all those good vegan bugger butters. So, I get a really nice, dense, creamy lather with really, really good slickness. Post-shave feel is very nice. For a synthetic knot, this knot isn't too bad. Nice thing about synthetics, especially if you're new to the wet shaving game, is they are extremely easy to lather with. They will create a lather very very quickly without a lot of learning curve uh, this has decent backbone soft tips so it is pleasurable it is a nice experience on the skin as you can see i mean i've got plenty of lather here i just I still tend to kind of gravitate towards a natural hair brush. I just really enjoy the exfoliation. I really enjoy, especially some of the Manchurians that have a little bit of a gel tip treatment are just kind of my go-tos. But for a synthetic, this is not bad. This is still pretty luxurious. So good job on a knot selection mat for a synthetic. It's one of the better ones I've tried. 
just kind of doing some stuff around the farm today. I had the farrier show up early, early this morning. We got the horses and the donkeys all trimmed. And then I'm just kind of doing some light housework, laundry, all that stuff, hanging out with the kiddo, working on homework for him. Try to get everything done early to get ready for Halloween parties and whatnot. This is just mowing through the growth. Very, very nice. Did just, I think, nick myself a little bit. I had a little bit of a bump back there on that side. So, definitely as you go up in plates on the Christopher Bradley, you do want to be careful because it will bite you. But such a smooth efficient shave I got going on here. Really, really nice. What do you guys have going on for your weekend? I'm gonna be on call for neonatal transport the next couple of days, pretty much straight. Starting at 10 o'clock tonight. So, we shall see if I get called out for a transport or not. We get to do a run. Really, really, really nice shave. Probably not to do the neck today. I'm just gonna let that rest. I'll probably hit it tomorrow. But definitely super super nice shave. What's kind of your guys' go-to daily drivers for razors? List them in the comments below. Might be something I haven't tried yet. There are a lot of new razor manufacturers out there. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the sink. Oh yeah. Nice and buttery smooth. Get a little rinse off there. Okay. Just kind of nicked just a little spot. Right there had a little bump. And with that F plate, it just sliced right through it. Wow. Still, ooh, yeah, good post shave feel. Nice hydrated skin, BBS smooth. Do you have the matching splash right there? Uh, ben puts a, just a little whiff of, I believe, Coolada cooling agent in his aftershave. So you will just get a very, very light cooling tinkle. It's very nice. Mm, really get that citrus with the woods with the barber shop come through. And that splash. Very, 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 very nice. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Redbeard Shaves. Let me know what your daily drivers are for razors in the comments. Let me know what some of maybe your most prized razors are. I would definitely be interested in knowing. 
and I uh, appreciate everything. Make sure you do something nice for somebody. It doesn't cost anything. You can make a world of difference for them. On that note, this is Red Beard out. You all take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.